All right, let's talk about inline editing inside of list views. Now, I'm on a list view that I can't perform inline editing on. There's no pencil icon that appears. And why that is, it will give you some insight if you hover over the pencil icon, which is the edit list button. And it tells you that inline edit is disabled to edit filter by one record type. So what I want to do is show you that these leads have different record types and you can only inline edit list views whenever there's just one record type for all the records displayed. And then I'm going to select fields to display and select record type just for reference so you can see that there's different record types on these lead records. So that would be lead record type in this instance. Move that over to the visible fields and that will be all the way over to the right when it displays. If we want to move that up closer to the top or closer to the left in the display, we could do so by moving it up higher in the list of visible fields and clicking Save. And so now here's our lead record type. You notice that several of these have no record type associated with them to have software development. And so now according to the pencil icon here about the inline edit being disabled, the way you can get this enabled is to filter by one record type. Now you can't filter by no record type, those records that don't have a record type assigned. And typically in real world environments you would have all your records would have one record type or another. It doesn't make sense to introduce record types if you only have one, okay? Because then you wouldn't want to introduce record types basically. So what we need to do is we need to filter our list here to add an additional filter for record type and this would be called lead record type is the field we're looking for and then equals and we have two with software development I'm not sure if we have any with installation so I'm just going to select software development and say done and then instead of saving this and fundamentally changing my all open leads I want to make a new list view from this existing list view by saying save as and these are software development leads so I'm going to call this all open software development leads and I'll go ahead and share this list with all the users and click save and so now we've filtered this down to just the two records okay I'm gonna go ahead and close that now we can click the edit button and this takes us to the first inline editable field you can actually click in here or another quick tip is you can tab over to move to other fields that have editability and then just hit the enter or return key on your keyboard and that way you can move from field to field and make changes. So, and you can shift tab to go back previous field as well. So let's say I want to change the name of this company. I can hit enter and I'm just going to remove one letter, hit enter again to save that. You'll notice that any changes I make in the inline edit mode will be highlighted yellow. And then whenever I'm done, I just need to click save at the bottom there. But if you have a lot of edits to make inside of a list view, with 50 or 100 records, something like that, you can make those changes. And then as well, you can select all fields and make a change to one of the cells. I'm just gonna go ahead and click here and select update the two selected items. And let's say that I want to make them both New York and click apply. And so now I've updated all two, but if I had 200 records here, I could do it for 200 records as well. So that's pretty nice. I'm gonna click save. And then I believe I don't have record types on my accounts object, so I'm going to show you what would be more likely your user experience would be to see many more records than what I had before. And if you keep scrolling here, it keeps filling in more and more records here in Lightning Experience. And so you can select a lot of records here, and the maximum is 200. It doesn't allow you to do more than 200 edits at one time but you notice the pencil icon appearing as I hover over some of the editable fields and so I can also click here and that takes me to the first editable field in the list view and I can make changes and I can do mass changes to all of the accounts so for example I'm going to cancel all of this because I don't want to change all of the account names but this particular field I can't really tell what this even is so I'm going to resize this account site so what I could do is select, once the screen refreshed, it went back down to, well, it's 50 items. I'm gonna, let me get back to 200 items and I'm going to adjust the account site for these 200 records. And so you can either just click into one of these editable fields, but what I'm gonna do, because I wanna kind of highlight this particular button here, is this will take you to the first editable field and you just tab over or cancel. I'm gonna hit enter to cancel that tab over to the account site. And I'm just going to add HQ for headquarters for the account site and then I'm going to tab down and hit the space bar to enter a checkbox and these are kind of conventions across the web. Whenever you've got a checkbox you hit the space bar whenever 
your inside of a checkbox. And then I can tab, tab to get to the apply and then hit enter. And that should apply, just takes a moment there. And so then to finally save this, there may be some way to tab it all the way down the 200 rows and get to this save button. But for sake of time, I'm going to click save and not try and figure that out. So I've just updated 200 records through a list view through a mass edit. And so the inline editing is a nice feature of Salesforce, but sometimes it's not real clear why the pencil icon appears or doesn't appear. So keep in mind the different record type rules around that. And that way you can always filter down to one record type if you're encountering not being able to inline edit a list view. So I hope you found this Salesforce video helpful. Please like and subscribe. Also, please leave a comment on what you'd like to learn in Salesforce, and it just might be my next video that I release. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.